The first time I learned about Brahmi, I was really fascinated because as a neurologist, I'm all about anything that will help to preserve brain function. But when I hear words like brain tonic, it's hard for me to wrap my mind around what on earth is a brain tonic? Because I'm so accustomed to thinking about things in terms of this particular pathway in the brain or that particular pathway in the brain. And so when I began working with Brahmi, I was kind of stunned at the effects because I had not seen before an intervention that helped the brain in such a holistic way. And now I can finally understand why it's called a brain tonic. It literally tones the entire brain. So even for people who do not have an existing neurological condition, it actually helps to increase creativity, memory. But in my patients who have Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's disease or epilepsy, it's a fantastic herb in helping to reduce kind of the overall excitability of the brain once there is that imbalance. So it's a fantastic adjuvant to their overall therapy for helping to restore brain function. I'm also stunned at just the ability of Brahmi to treat conditions that in Western medicine we even struggle to treat, such as addictions. And so beyond just the physical or more hardwired problems such as Parkinson's disease, it even helps with those imbalances that lie kind of deeper into the psychology of somebody and ties into their ability to cope with stress such as addictions. So Brahmi to me is really synonymous with brain health and it's something that I've started many of my patients on who are interested in optimal brain function as well as those who are struggling with neurological diseases. And it's something that I take myself mainly as an investment in my brain in the future.